Hello, welcome to In 5 Minutes. Next problem tells us to find VTH and RTH. What is the difference between the circuits what we have studied and over here is you can say there are different supply voltages provided. For example, you can see here it is plus 3 volts, here it is plus 5 volts, here it is minus 5 volts, plus 15 volts, minus 5 volts. All the supply voltages are different as what we have seen. Usually what we have, you have resistance R1. You have resistance R2, you have the transistor, you have the resistor, both are connected to the same supply. But here you have five different supplies and how to solve a problem if it comes like this. So for this, we need to consider 5 volts separately, 3 volts separately and minus 5 volts separately. That is using the superposition theorem. So for this, look here, we are considering plus 5 volt voltage source and short circuit plus 3 volts and minus 5 volts so this minus 5 volts has been replaced with a ground and similarly this plus 3 volts is replaced by a ground when you look at the diagram so what we are doing we are considering only plus 5 volts and the remaining part of the circuit we are not drawing why we will replace this entire part that is this part with a single voltage source in series with the resistance that is 7 inch equivalent circuit for that we are applying the superposition theorem so what is done so these two grounded now what you can see 500 k in parallel with 70 k will give you this resistance 61.4 how you can do assume a point a over here and b over here similarly b over here so what you can say between a and b you will have one resistance which is the parallel combination of 500 k and 70 k that will give you 61.403 kilo ohms right and this 500 kilo ohms as it is so now by potential divider rule you can find the voltage vth dash as how we can find assume this the upper resistance as r1 and the lower resistance as r2 so when you apply kvl it will be r2 upon r1 plus r2 into 5 volts now r2 is nothing but 61.403 upon 61.403 plus 500 i am not writing kilo ohms because kilo and kilo will cancel from the numerator and denominator multiplied by 5 volts so this will give you vth dash how much is your vth dash now vth dash will be 0 0.5468 volts this is how we are finding vth dash that is voltage we are considering only 5 volts now we need to consider remaining two voltage sources plus 3 volt and minus 5 volts now considering plus 3 volt what you will have plus 5 volt voltage source is grounded and minus 5 voltage source is grounded now again this 500 k and 70 k will come in parallel because if i am assuming this point as a this point as b that is ground so this point is b so b and b are identical so i can say 500 kilo ohms will come in parallel with 70 kilo ohms that will give you 61.403 kilo ohms now we need to find vts double dash so again by potential divider rule what you can see voltage vth double dash will be 61.403 divided by 61.403 plus 500 multiplied by 3 so this will give you vth double dash which will come around 0 0.3281 volt right now our last task is to find voltage because of minus 5 volts 